Right, I mean, the Mayapan, I suppose, ooh, actually, yeah, there's quite a bit of um, development in here, so capturing all of this might not be in the cards. How who are you allied to? Probably part of the alliance chain here, yeah, there'll be 46,000 men, because that's not an option. So I guess a war in Africa could indeed be, but like, uh, Mali is allied to the guys over here that are massive. So that would be, let's see, that's 45,000, 55, uh, 63,000 men. I can't fight that. Uh, there would be perhaps some smaller enemies though, like this one. Who are, oh right, we are allies to them. Never mind. Um, maybe down on this side. We do have the colonists going in there. Of course we, oh right, yeah, we do have this one, but is there... There's still a potential for the rebellion there, but like the Miltech isn't bad. So it's just the rebellion, once that's dealt with, we'll probably do a war in Madagascar again. Also, we might be able to do some wars down here. I don't think expanding down in Peru right now is going to be in the cards either. Oh man, yeah, New Spain is pretty large in comparison. Still haven't found the center of trade, unfortunately, but we'll see. I mean, I suppose another thing that I could do is just go into Asia and start expanding in there. Like uh, Luzon, take this one. Oh, well, that is quite a large cost there, but what do they have? Oh, they got gems. Is that actually their province? Yeah, it is. Anything else in here? Oh, that's a salt. Yeah, that's gems and salt. And coal and salt, okay. That wouldn't be too bad. I don't suppose they got Miltech 23 though, so it's not quite as easy as uh, one might think. And yeah, it's 9,000 men total somewhere out there. Probably over there. So that might be a problem. But also, getting an army in here somewhere certainly wouldn't hurt. Uh, but how is the capital coming along? I'm pretty sure that it's still underway. Oh yeah, it needs a lot of uh, knowledge, which I don't suppose we're producing much in here, are we? No, do we have the... Oh, we do have the residents in here, so how about we open some knowledge in here? Uh, so new slot, that would have to be the higher education. But that's going to allow them to start producing some in here, and it's also going to make this into a center of... Uh, oh, realm unification against... Uh, steal the day, start colonizing something next to me again. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, right, there's some stuff going in there. All oh, this is underway. Is there? Oh, there's slowly getting uh, some sieges down at least. Good on them. Oh, right. Um, I suppose I do have an army over here that could clear out the enemy at least a little bit. Right. So, is there honestly nothing over here in Africa that I could realistically do? I mean, Dahomey. Do you have strong allies? Apparently, yes. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that's what, 110,000 men? So Dahomey is out of the question. Uh, what about Dinkura? You got the strong ally as well, so that's out of the question. I mean, I don't have a claim on you either. And you are allied to... Oh, you're guaranteed by Dahomey and the other one, so... Yeah, that would be too strong. Um, Congo has been driven away from the coast, so I guess Africa wars are over here would be a possibility. Which I suppose I could start doing. There is some wars going on in there, but... Uh, who is this guy again? Tadanda? Are you still allied to Marina? I believe you are. That would be four, almost 40,000 men total, so declaring war on you directly is not a good option. I'm just going to still have troops. Um... 50,000, so they got a decent bit more than I do. We got 29, we got a limit of 27, which is a bit of a problem. Maybe it's Lemson, I mean that, hmm. No Mamluks will join, so that's an out of the question. Although, Sanhaja, don't we still have a claim on you? We do. You're allied to Mali and Lemson. I mean, Mali and Lemson combined wouldn't be too bad. 
Although I would be mostly fighting with the Ansang army, so it will be 13 plus Fez. Maybe a little bit extra from somewhere. I can't really uh, transport the army from Madagascar away right now. But this would allow me to maybe kind of loop around here. And that would maybe allow me, well actually, taking Bambuk without direct war declaration would be... Although I... Hmm... Well, I could perhaps do with Ma a Mali. Could bring the, yeah, yeah, like the Ansang army is the Mexican army. So that would be the only army, but maybe I can uh, transport that uh, down here at least. Let's get you to Rio de Oro at first. Actually, no, we're going to get you down to now. But that's going to be a little bit. Puerto Rico has been converted. Okay. As well, recall that diplomat. Um, so we could. Did we get. No, we didn't get the Miltech yet. We had the taxes recently, so that what lowered the numbers. I remember now. Okay, another expedition. Uh, Colombia. So how much does Colombia have now? I'm pretty sure that none of my colonies have started expanding. Oh, Peru has 3,000 men now. Interesting. I mean, that's pretty good. Very income for war and use some mercs. Mm, true. That's true. I was figuring out. You know what? Let's go ahead and go for the Eastern America. We get the Nova Lisbon a little bit more. Or who's threatened. So, yeah, I suppose they, that's true. Okay, so that was already. Yeah, we didn't get the colonists back from that, but that's alright. We already had recalled that one. But that means we get even more income now. So how about we start, um, is there something that is currently colonizing that could be maybe taken away? We can recall that one. We already got one in Canada. We got one over here. Um, I wonder if I was to colonize down here. Would that be smart or not smart? Well, the problem is that I don't... Well, let's wait for the colonists to arrive so we can see how far we can colonize in here. No, technically be ours, but at the same time, I don't know this. This might not be a bad uh, province. It's a natural location, although it's also tropical, so the settler increase is a bit reduced. On the other hand, I'm sure that there are other locations, like expanding around here, would certainly not be a bad idea. Although Peru is claimed by Castile, so it would be slightly slower. We could also expand somewhere around here. Although, didn't we already start colonizing something? We got that one and... Actually, we didn't. Maybe we'll do... Was this the coal province? No, Coco. I do that's alright. I'll do another colonist in here. At least for a little bit. Like, we can certainly afford a lot of colonists altogether. Um, how much... Are we getting... I mean, I suppose a lot of the... Oh, wait, now I remember. I was trying to get um, this one upgraded, but we need the quality ideas, and then we can get the draft going. Hybrid military, primitive administration, formal structures. Formal structure is probably something that we don't have yet. We do have a pretty good state reach, 31%. Have a look at the administration reforms. Is there anything that we could do right now, or are close to being able to? We could... Ooh... Revisions for the tenure, so that would mean a lot more bureaucratic corruption for a little bit. Lose the stability, so maybe not yet. Salaries, that would be... well, we can't do that one yet. We don't have state reach for that. Oh, wow. 80 state reach average. That's a, quite a bit. Uh, this one would be... oh, high through recommendations. That's something if we just had the influence, which we almost have. If we can just promote the faction, then we could easily get that. But that would be another stability loss there. That would reduce the corruption in the long run. And less autonomy from the... Oh, less power from autonomy, sorry. Mm hmm. Intimacy oversight, so that... No, that we don't have the overs all the state reach for that. This one, higher education. That would increase corruption again for a little bit. But it would increase the admin efficiency. And elite power from wealth. Okay. But over here. Oh, formalized admin. Oh, right. Um, getting to the formal structure. We need to have a lot less autonomy, which means that we need to just build up a lot of the 
infrastructure, quite frankly. And then there's this one that, no, we can't do that one. That one requires executive authority of 50. Suppose we don't have that. Systematic rotation, oh. Oh, we can't do that one either. Right, so there's nothing that we can do right now. I mean, there's some things that are not far... Oh, actually. We just get the influence up. We could get, for example, some more of these tax things. Although, I don't know if we can do... No, we can't do that yet because we've had a reform rather recently. You know, getting more taxes wouldn't hurt. Also, is there anything in the government reforms down here that we could do? Assemblies are going to still be that. If we go for the default... You Unitary. Not entirely sure what the effects are going to be, other than the modifiers listed in here. I suspect that there might be something that is not listed in. And then there's the equal responsibilities. Which might lower the autonomy a little bit. I can't have regionalism, so we'd have to have federalism, I suppose. Oh, more conversions done. Excellent. Uh, do we have... Yeah, we've got the missionary available. Let's send that one out again. Shall we? And then this one's going to be almost done. Yeah, so Rio de Prata is going to have a um, little bit more territory. It's already going to be mostly connected up. It's only got 1,000 men, though. Oh, there's some enemies down here, is there? Oh, yeah, there is. Well, I suppose I kind of understand now why they had the army built up. So is that then... Um, Peru still has 3,000 men somewhere. Where exactly? I don't know. But it's somewhere. Uh, right, so this is slowly building up. We don't have the force limit right now. So I suppose what we need, just need to do is basically... Actually... I wonder. I'm sure that there's some provinces over here that we could invest in, like, farmlands or something like that. Crops and olives in here. There's also religious education. That's good. Not a lot of taxes per se. Uh, how is the... If we have a look at the wages we can see from here. There's about a four times for the rural, rural wages. So I could maybe take a little bit of extra. I mean, more people living. That's what we need. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of what we need. That's what I'm kind of looking around. Is like maybe doing some investments into like fisheries and such because fisheries like fisheries are really good for increasing the rural population because their only life need is food then comfort and luxury are different of course but like if we if they just get all the life needs met then they will grow fairly quickly okay there we go that's another colony done i'm pretty sure that there's another colony that we could then maybe transfer we've already transferred that one uh <laughs> A lot of the others seem to be rather small right now, so I don't know, maybe we'll need to wait. Like there's one, two, three... Uh, below 100, and then there's two that are below 400. Oh, right, we already have one over here. Okay, good. I suppose we'll just take the money for now. Also, is there... Oh, oh, I only got maps. Oh, that's a shame. Um, right, so, the force limit, like, yeah, it's just, um, we don't have that much manpower, so, you know what, let's go ahead and do some investments, it might be over-investing a little bit, we'll just take the fisheries and invest in, like, around here, some of these provinces, I'm pretty sure that these provinces do still have some fishing available, and not to mention, like, the autonomy shouldn't be... Yeah, it's not full. That's going to help a little bit. Well, we should have some minglands, as we have the population we'd... Yeah, it would be slightly ungovernable, though, but... Beyond that, yes. Right, so... Oh, yeah, we don't want to get the quality ideas. We want to get the Miltic first. Now, I'm pretty sure Conquest of Paradise was on the list. At least the content packs for the Conquest of Paradise were... Oh, Protracted Expansion has uh, stopped... Okay, I think that is something that we do want to keep going, so we'll just go ahead and... 
expand bureaucracy. It does mean that stability is going to drop again. That's all right. Hold on a minute. Oh, England and that's France's arrival. Well, that's not a surprise. Are we allied to England? We are. Is England allied to Castile? Yes, yes, they are. Um, Origins wasn't in the pack. I, I don't know. Maybe Congress Paradise wasn't in there, but I'm, I have a feeling that it was. Loyalties are pretty good. And, oh, right. Actually, that's another thing. Um, the tribes, we can actually expand our authority. It does uh, reduce the stability. Well, it's not full stability, but a little bit of the stability. But it lowers the clan powers. Also, the loyalty, but, you know, and increases state reach with that. So that would be pretty decent. Well, I think it only increases state reach in provinces where we have clans or the tribes present. But reducing their power would be quite smart, I reckon. Oh, another expedition. I think I'm going to try to do the Eastern America again. Just start kind of strengthening the colonies that I have in America. There we go, another colony completed in here. How much are we making money per month now? 25 ducats. Well, then that ain't too bad. We've got another core in here. Although, I suppose I was supposed to make this into a... Well, you know what, I'll just make this into ground Oh, actually, the autonomy is down here. Well, that hasn't increased all the way. Never mind. So, Cape Town, are you actually now producing your... Uh, higher education, or knowledge, rather. Not yet, so it's probably going to start producing it next year. Oh, actually, we could get another claim on here. That's good. Now we can get the Miltic as well. So the castles are a little bit higher levels. We might have to upgrade a lot of them, in all fairness. Uh, did we start building the castle down here? Yeah, we did. Let's go ahead and upgrade this, though. Um, go to the max level. And I think Lisbon is going to go to the max level. The other one next to it doesn't necessarily need to be that high. And then maybe this one could be upgraded. That's just to have a little bit of more defensiveness in various areas. Uh, right, so we, we're planning on the war against Sanhaja. But since Mali is going to be joining in that is a lot of troops. Although, I suppose I could call in Castile. They'd better join that. If we invite in Castile, then we have the numbers definitely in our favour. Plus, do we have the Miltic advantage? I mean, we just got the level 26. Sanhaja has il oh, wow, 11, and Mali has 21. So we have definitely the Miltic advantage. We got pretty decent general in here. Ooh, who's this? Oh, that's Fez. When did you get that? I suppose it doesn't matter. Oh, it is part of- oh. Technically speaking, it should be mine, but... Oh, well. So yeah, I'd be maybe able to get a little bit of the promises through Sahara in here. And uh, that is a province that I can't see yet. And there's another one over here. Don't know how much it would cause aggressive expansion in here, but I reckon in Africa we don't have a lot. Yeah, it might distract them from um, America for sure. We spent a fair bit of treasury for constructions, didn't we? I guess. Among other things. We just started constructing two capitals and a few other things. We... Oh, right. I do want to build some more ships. The question is, how much can we build? We could build another... Hold on. Is this the... Yeah, that's two... Or one heavy ship group and five transport groups. And it's... Each group is like five ships. Uh, we've got a fair bit of trade ships. You know what? I'm going to get some more light ships, though. Oh, right, yeah. I suppose they are quite expensive. You are correct. Well, I mean... We got the money. It's not a problem. Okay, we can do a bit more conversions. Oh. <laughs> Sakalava is... Um... Oh, we got the war exhaustion. We might want to wait with the war declaration. Although, war exhaustion is actually going down now, very slowly. But actually, we'll just wait for the war against the natives here. Where's the army? Oh, you've been beating down my colonies' armies. And we'll win all. Yeah. <laughs> Where's this? Oh, dear. Um, 
Okay, how bad of a situation are we in here? Can we transport this one away? Uh, we might be able to transport it back and forth real quick. At least I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping that. It's 85%, so we probably have a few months of time to jump over and then clear things up. Oh man, that's already halfway done. There's only 3,000 men though, so that's not too bad. And the corruption is still going... Oh, actually, the corruption is not going down all that quickly anymore. State corruption is pretty high. And that's causing some issues. Oh, yeah, that's true. We'll keep on influencing Colombia and all that. Uh, so, how is Colombia doing in terms of units anyway? Peru is 4,000. Colombia is still... 1. Um, so far, income. Oh. Right, first is okay. Oh, hello. Bermuda. Oh, boy. Now this is good. That's actually really good. And this is going to be our province, isn't it? At least it's currently in our control. I don't think that is going to be switching over either. We could turn this into a trade company. But there's no unrest. There's probably not a lot of population either. Uh, there's a little bit. Oh, well, there's that war done. Yeah, we just need to get something in Florida, and then we'll have a nice little triangle to sail around. Oh, and apparently... Oh, well, the golden ball is open again. I really need to disable that um, notification. We do have a little bit of extra um, points as well, so we could maybe lower the taxes, which might mean... Ooh. I don't want... I don't know if it's just taxes or does it affect the levies as well. And this year we'll start fighting in... Africa, I reckon. We'll just need to clear out some of this uh, mess that the Rebellion left. Let's have a look at the war exhaustion. So it should be going down within the year. It's going to be down zero. Oh, there's Mexican's army. Maybe they have some troops in somewhere south helping. I suppose it's not out of the Possibilities. All the realm of possibilities. Uh, this should be done soon. We can probably get the transports in there. Get them out. Oh, ooh, colonial migration. Uh, De Rio Grande is getting 200. That would be down here. And where is it taking from? Peru? That's in Argentina. Okay. Alright, let's get the troops in here. How bad is the rebellion? It's already 90%. So it's gonna happen soon. Oh, that's separated in... Oh, Mexico should be able to take care of that one. I'm not gonna bother with that. Right, so this one... We can transport over into Madagascar. I think we'll transport it over here, just in case, so it's going to be somewhat central in this island. Then once that rebellion is dealt with, hopefully it's going to spawn in two stacks instead of one. Because if it's one stack, then we might have some issues. Uh, our expedition. Hmm. You know what, I'm going to send one to southern China. Who knows if we get Macau? If not, then we might get Taiwan. Or Formosa, as the island is probably called. Ooh, it's ninety five percent already and thirteen thousand men. This is gonna be rough. Assuming that it's not separated Oh Okay. So you're fighting Castile. In that case, how strong is Mali on its own? You are in a coalition against the homie. Be funny if we get Hong Kong. <laughs> Okay, so Mali actually only has 17,000 men. I'm kind of tempted to cancel the alliance with Castile. I'm not really in a position to start fighting them. But we could maybe start kind of distancing ourselves from Castile because they... I kind of mess that they're causing the colonial regions is a problem. And I think we may need to... Mali is a global literate. Uh I suspect that it's... Like it's a possibility. Well, actually, let's have a look. Oh, right, I can't declare the war right now. 
But like Sandhaja and... Oh, right, but it would call him Tlemcen, wouldn't it? And Tlemcen is probably the stronger of those two. Yeah, Tlemcen has 21,000 men. Okay. So what I could do is just wait a little bit, like, and not join the war. Or maybe even join the war, just not do anything. And then declare war on Mali, because then the other enemy is not going to join in that war. Hmm. I mean, what would our leader do? He's aggressive. So I suppose he would join the war. 